we'll make it better. They can't hurt us anymore. Show them shitters what we can do. Okay, show me. Hey everyone, Shaper1000 here. Today, I'm going to show you how to wire up 220 to run a dryer on this Corvette. Should be interesting. Just kidding. Look what we got. I just got that holding the, holding the header back. So, we got our header gaskets and collector gasket. We got our bolts. They're in my pocket. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this uh, put this header on, get the collector bolted on, and uh, we'll have to go get some gas and fire it up. So, it's here. Um, yeah, let's get started on it. Okay, guys, I'm going to speed you up through this because it's kind of, it's not like hard per se, but it is really persnickety. What I usually do is start with the out with the front bolt the very front bolt and the very rear bolt since this one was a little crooked I'm gonna start with the second bolt over there's six bolts on these things so I'm gonna speed you up and let's get into this hope I don't knock you off the stand it's I don't know if you can hear that wind but it's getting ready to storm it's either 250 degrees out or no it's getting ready for the flood I can't I can't ever win starting on this it's after one o'clock because I didn't know I didn't know that the uh, parts came because they were in the mailbox and I didn't see the mail lady so I thought she hadn't went yet all right guys hopefully you don't fall off here we go started I'm gonna tighten these down crane delay all right guys we got our header on got our plug wires on now I gotta get down under there I'm gonna jack the car back up and get under there and usually I won't be able to take you with me on that one but usually them things are a fight I don't know what that is a piece of aluminum for something uh, Usually them things put up a fight, especially when everything else is tight. I think what may have happened was when he put this exhaust on as he was putting bolts in, he might have tightened them up as he was going. 
you really don't want to do that because if you do then sometimes you got you know issues that's why you should start everything you know get all your bolts in then tighten it down as you go you know back and forth whatever like tighten one side and then the other and then you know back and forth like that but so anyway it did stop raining I got a mat I can lay on so I'm gonna try to get under there and try to get them bolts on see how far off it is sometimes you got to do a little prying because I really don't want to mess with that other side it's not leaking so I don't want to fix it you know what I mean this side's not leaking at all so neither here nor down at the collector so I really don't want to mess with that collector but I got to get under there and see so let me get this thing jacked up I blew some of these leaves out of here <clears throat> let me get it jacked up and I'm gonna get under there see what I can do and I'll be back with you guys so uh, the collector matched right up it's perfect made it perfect but this is too small so I went ahead and bolted it up because we're not driving it anywhere far right now so um, at least it's not running open header I can hear a little better if it, you know check and see if the engine's gonna make any noise I don't think it will but anyway we're gonna go get some gas we're gonna see if I can move that thing up to the mailbox and back ah. we'll see stick around guys a lot more fun to come quit raining what you doing there monk I'm right here. she's excited huh? awesome <laughs> Doing? Nothing. Okay, guys, so here we go. Okay guys, so there's a vet, it moved on its own. Mm -hmm. and first time in seven years it moved on its own. No brakes whatsoever. Well, if I really stand on them, 
it'll get a little bit of break and transmission is slipping in reverse so our main concern is the transmission right now right because the brakes ain't no problem brake lights no problem transmission so i'm going to try some of that transmission stuff and we'll put in it hopefully that'll get us through a year just driving around here um, I think reverse and first is on the same band though. <laughs> really? Yeah, I think they're on the same thing because they're both low gears. I'm not positive they used to be. I'm not sure about this 90. But, hmm. and I think this is 700 R4. So, but I know like a 350 turbo mm -hmm. automatic, they're on the same band. So if reverse is slipping forward, it's going to slip. Mm -hmm. But, that's at a later date. We'll have to have that done because I can't do that right here. No. Well, because I can't lift no more. No. If it wasn't for that, I could. I'm surprised your dad didn't do that. No. Maybe he was the same way. Mm -hmm. He just couldn't lift no more. No. Because these, these transmissions are heavy, guys. Yeah. He could, and, and he didn't have it up in the air either. It makes it easier. Yeah. So, he didn't have a well, if I had a transmission jack, I could do it myself, but, you know, I'm not paying that kind of money for a transmission jack that I'm going to use one time. Right. Um, so, uh, what else was I going to say? Okay, so, the parody you guys just saw at the beginning of this, this video. <laughs> I know all you gearheads, even if you're not, but I know the gearheads will know the movie that that was in reference to Christine. And those of you that don't know, anyway, those of you that don't know, the movie Christine's about a haunted car. I think it was a 57 or 58. Somewhere in there. Um, Plymouth. Fury. And he named the car, well, the, he didn't name it, but the car's name was Christine. Now, the reason why I did that parody instead of the millions of others I could have done is you guys don't know this i don't think any of them do but her actual middle name is christina <laughs> so i was thinking about that one night and i thought what parody can i do and i said maybe christine and then i was like wait a minute her name's christina close enough it's her car right so that's why i did the parody hope you guys liked it we was just having some fun the car's not really haunted she she was in it <laughs> that's where your cue was you should have said no i wasn't i was in the house yeah. <laughs> what but yeah so she was in the car so and yes it's supposed to be stupid okay it's not supposed to be a real movie thing it's a parody if you don't know what that is google it and then you'll have some more understanding of why we did that clip but you know christine christina but we're not going to name the car christine because that's been done it's a movie car, Christine. You can't do that. You know, it's just it's just not right. So we're gonna come up with a name for it. I wanted to call it the Psycho, but she won't let me do that. Yeah. We'll come up with something really radical, huh? Yeah. Radical? How old are we? 13? That's radical, dude. Anyway, right. thanks for it watching, guys. Gnarly. The car is moving. It's starting up like a new car. Well, like it should. Yes, you'll see some black smoke. Like I said before, that's you know, I, I've got to detune it. I'll probably just get a new computer that's factory because this one's been tuned up to put more fuel in. Right. So, yeah, you'll see, you know. But, I mean, if it wasn't for the brakes, it'd be drivable. Yeah. And tires, of course. I mean, we've got to get yeah. tires. But yeah. um, those are the two main things. Uh, three main things. Well, tires and transmission. The yeah. brakes ain't nothing. I can fix those. That's not a big deal. So, but stay tuned for more videos on this thing. Yep, at least it's moving. Yay! Moves on its own. Yep. It's turnkey now. Yep. Just get in it, start it up. Boom. There we go. Um, it is not charging. I thought maybe it's because the alternator's running backwards. But I believe these alternators will charge either way. It's just, if they run backwards, they don't cool like they should. Mm. So it's not charging, but there is another alternator in the garage so we'll try that a little bit at a time guys so anyway thanks for watching appreciate it shea bear the myth the man legend i'm out of here check out monkey 1000 channel 
she had her camera out she got bruno in here up and way up in the back there because he wanted to ride in the car oh, he's been dying for to get in there something else that's funny she's never drove this car not once no mm -hmm. i drove it farther than she has yeah yeah <laughs> my father wouldn't let me drive it <laughs> well, well you know mechanic privileges it's a good thing because you got in there and put it to the floor. No brakes. I would have panicked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye, guys. Stay safe and take care. Bye, y'all. Bye, guys.